So far in 2022, there have been more than 7,000 weddings every single day, and more than 60% of the population is set to attend one. It's the result of a nationwide lockdown causing several weddings to postpone and essentially resulting in the largest wedding boom since 1984. But that wedding boom isn't over. 2023 is around the corner and the not senior weddings editor Hannah Nowak joins us to give us a review view of the 2022 weddings and a preview of what we can expect for this year's trends. Hannah, good morning. Now we have to start with, you know, what a beautiful cover you guys have on your 2022 winter issue. We want you to tell us more about what was the idea behind it. We love how the cover turned out in a first ever for the knot. We actually had 27 real couples from 2022 on the cover as just a way to um, pay homage to what you're talking about. The wedding boom this year, uh, we expect there to be 2.6 million weddings. And so each of those 27 couples actually represents about 90,000 um, couples getting married across the states you know, it, it, it's kind of a ripple effect, right? So everything gets impacted from uh, the vendors, the couples, of course. And, you know, we talked a little bit about just, you know, the massive number of weddings that happened this year. So how did this wedding boom impact 2022 couples and will it impact those getting married in 2023 as well? So we saw a lot of interesting things emerge from the wedding boom that really stuck around and became trends. One is Friday weddings. You know, there are a limited number of Saturdays in the year and with so many weddings happening every day, we saw couples looking at weekday weddings. You know, Fridays are the new Saturdays and that was a big change. We also have seen the rise in domestic destination weddings. So, you know, with uncertainty sometimes about the border regulations, couples who want a destination wedding are looking a little bit closer to home. So, you know, maybe not right um, in their hometown, but a nice place nearby to have a destination wedding without um, traveling too far. And, you know, I can attest to that. I'm getting married in 2023 and I'm getting married on a Sunday because there were there were no Saturdays available. So <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. So, you know, what wedding trends are you seeing develop for 2023? Big thing also is just couples really leaning into personalization. You know, we always want couples to feel empowered to plan a wedding that is uniquely their own. And we're really seeing couples, you know, moving away from feeling um, stuck with traditions, but rather just embracing, you know, planning a wedding that is really reflective of what matters to them. And that even is taking place in backyard at home weddings. We've seen what we're calling over the top at home weddings. You know, a backyard wedding doesn't have to be this really simple, small thing. Some couples are leaning into, you know, having the flexibility of an at home wedding, but still having really cool details. And we want to know how can people get your winter issue? It is on newsstands now across the states, and you also can read our cover story online on the knot.com. Awesome. Hannah, thank you so much for all of your insight and for more information.